How's it going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K, the Lonely Hermit. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into week two of the Elite Battle League. Your LA Inferno will be looking to bounce back after that tough loss last week against the Redwood Meows and Forsaken Ace, who is their coach, of course. His links will be in the description alongside the links of all the other coaches in the EBL. But before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description, Twitter and Instagram below we'll that hermit only underscore uh there is a playlist link down below as well for all the matches and the weekly roundups and all that good stuff and our current playthrough which is pokemon sword uh a pokemon sword nuzlocke as well as what else? oh merch store of course check out the merch store down below you have loners merch and la inferno merch down below it'd be greatly appreciate if you guys could check that out but like i said today 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 we're just going to uh we're going to try and rebound um, the goal is to get a kill <laughs> that's the goal today is to get a kill try to try to um try to do a little bit more in this match i know i know ace has quite a bit uh quite a bit of an annoying team um and i'm honestly afraid i feel like i have a decent plan heading into this right now i'm honestly expecting buzz will serena amungus draco zolt warwing Maybe Cramorant, maybe Tentacruel. I just don't see ho -Oh coming. I don't really see a reason for it to come aside from maybe trying to counter an earthquake. But if it, but I have rock type moves, so I could easily get rid of ho -Oh. So it's not, it's not too big of a threat, which is why I don't think, I don't think it would be brought. I feel like Serena, Amoongus would be more annoying. Draco Zolt, I need to be very careful. I know Walrein is my number one threat. Obviously, it's the biggest threat to my team. But Draco Zolt is one of the like low key potential uh, threats on the team. So I need to be careful with it because of his Bolt Beak. If he gives it Sand Rush, it's double speed, so that Bolt Beak might always be 170. I think I think my my trip, trip should be about the same. I believe they have the same base speed. Uh, I don't remember how I built my Draco Rush. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest, but I think it's I think they should be speed tied if he built his into speed. So um hopefully it all goes well uh, i'm gonna go ahead and hit up ace i just want to do this intro separately i'm gonna go ahead and hit up ace um i'll show you guys the team when i pick it um and then yeah so i'll catch you guys when we're heading right into it all right we're chatting in the chat but we found ace we found him we're here i really hope i got my team right i hope i set up my battle team right oh crap i should double check beforehand but if there's a problem i'll just let him know um single battle normal rules yes uh what's next uh yes okay right here participating team okay cool we're rolling with hepaudon tyranitar mama swine uh rotom heat draco Vish, and corvin i left landers at home i just didn't see the benefit of really bringing it to be honest leafion as well swampert was a was a should i bring it should i not i just decided against i said i decided with rotom heat over swampert um i I, I don't know. I, we'll see if we regret that decision. Um, but I think the rest of our team could really help us. Corviknight was another one that I was uh, tempted to not bring. I'm not going to lie. Tempted to not bring um, Corviknight. But I just decided that uh, I felt Corviknight could help the team. I have, I'm have i running Taunt to prevent any you know Spore shenanigans or anything like that. So that could change uh, depending on uh, who he brings, obviously. Um... I can't I didn't want to revolve my entire game plan around buzz or anything like that, but I needed to uh, I needed to think about it still so he definitely yeah Walrein I was fully expecting that tentacruel Cramer. Oh, he brought both. Okay. There's the Moongus. He didn't There's Serena. There's Buzzwool. He didn't bring Draco Zolt. That's actually good for us um, So this is the big problem is I lead with Arthur I can get off a fat iron head on the wall rain. I can get off a drill pack on a Moongus, Serena, or Buzzwool. Um, if I lead with Jill, I do have Thunder Punch on Jill. Or Thunder, yeah, Thunder Punch on, on Jill. Um, but I kind of think maybe running Arthur would be a better decision here. Um, I know probably setting up the sand would be great, but I'm gonna run Arthur. And what we're gonna do is just hope that it's gonna be something that's uh hope it's gonna be something that uh, we can we can get rid of quickly. So here we go, here we go. So he's running, okay. So he's running Beast Boost, Buzz Wool, of course. Probably Queenly Majesty, Serena, so I, no priority. Amoongus, probably a Fexplor. So I need to not hit it with, I need to be careful with Amoongus, pretty much. Um, he's probably got Liquid, mm, Clear Body? No, probably Rain Dish, no. 
no 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 clear body tentacle probably something like that uh probably thick fat wall rain or oblivious wall rain and then definitely gold missile crammer what did he lead with i was not paying attention um he led with the crammer okay he led with the crammer so what we're gonna do um we are going to immediately i feel like this should be the should we just go straight to rotom he's probably gonna try and set up he's probably gonna try and set up let's get a taunt off sir oh okay 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 He's setting up the gold missile. If he gets a Pikachu, I'm gonna be mad. If he gets a Pikachu, okay, he got a he got a bear scooter. Okay, cool. He got a bear scooter. He got a bear scooter. Okay. So what we can do is he's probably gonna surf again. He's probably gonna surf again. Hmm. He's probably gonna surf again. But what I think, I think reflect might be just a better way to go. I know he's using special moves right now, but I'm gonna reflect up and then we're gonna switch. I'm probably gonna go to. Uh, I don't know. I think Kapowdon could take one surf, honestly. I just wanna get the sand up. That's it. I just wanna get the sand up. That's all I want. Uh, so, what we're gonna do. I, I have a feeling Hippowdon could take one, and then we can Thunderfang it. I have a feeling, because I hit my Hippowdon's very specially bulky. Very specially bulky. So, I have a feeling I can switch into Hippowdon and get off the Thunderfang. I don't think he'll be, I don't think he'll see it coming. I honestly think he's gonna see that we have um, him pout on. He's probably gonna stay in and surf again. And the hope is that um, the hope is that he doesn't. He he basically feeds into it. That's the hope is that he feeds into this. He lets us uh, stay in and thunderfang him. I really hope pout on. Okay, cool. We can take another one. Just we can't get critted. That's all. The only thing is we cannot get critted. So we can thunderfang this thing. I have a feeling he's gonna get confident, think it's okay, and stay in, not expecting this. Um, either if he switches, we get a Thunderfang off on... I mean, nothing on his team is really taking a Thunderfang. Hurricane, okay. How much does that could be? That did a decent amount. Alright. Oh, we got the confusion. Please break through Moto Moto. Please. Moto Moto. Oh. That's huge. That's huge, dude. That's huge. That is huge for him. That is huge for him. That is huge for him. Oh, that is huge for him. That is huge, huge, huge. You think he hurricanes again? I think he hurricanes again. Mm. I think he surfs again, actually. Crap. I think he surfs again. This crime rat's annoying. Yeah. I, I made a mistake there. I should have gone to Drip Drip. Do we outspeed it is a good question. Do we outspeed this thing? 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 He's been holding on to that bear skater for so long, or that arrow could I think it is actually. Do we outspeed this thing? What is Cramorant's base speed? I'm sorry for the stall. I need to I need to I need to see this. Cause we might just honestly psych off. 85. Oh, we should definitely outspeed it actually. I feel like we should. Oh, it's so close. I don't think we will, but I really, I just, I'm gonna risk it because I need this thing to die. He protected. <laughs> oh, you're smart. You're smart. I was gonna protect too. I was, but I decided against it. He out Does he outspeed me though? That's the big question. Does he outspeed me? He's gonna switch. I feel like he switches right here. I feel like he switches right here. Maybe we Thunder Wave to get a Thunder Wave off on something? I feel like he switches right here. I feel like he sees the volt switch and switches. The question isn't to what, but I have a feeling maybe Warren to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Let's see what he's gonna do. Oh, we did outspeed it. We did outspeed it. I thought he was gonna switch. No, please get paralyzed first turn. Get paralyzed first turn. Rain Dance, that's fine. That's actually a-okay. -A that's actually a-okay. That's actually a okay. I'm okay with that because I think the sand only had like one turn after this, anyways. So we're good. We outspeed it though. That's good to know. Does he let Slayer go down? Is the question. I think yeah, he does. He does. He does. There we go. First kill. Yes. Woo. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna switch anyways. That's fine. We get a free sack as well. We get a free mon that we can bring in and sack. So now we get free switches around. He probably brings in Walrein, doesn't he? I have a feeling he brings in Walrein. 
I shouldn't have let Motomoto take as much damage as he did, to be honest. Now that I think about it. <sighs> okay, so we get rid of the rain because we got to lower those water type moves. Our special defense is also up. Because Jill's um, rock. Oh, I have to switch before he makes his decision? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, Serena comes out. I did not know that. Uh, well, she's going to use the grass type move. Does Manny resist grass like really well? I, I feel like I feel like he should. No, it's probably gonna be neutral. Actually, not to think about it. No, it's super effective. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, jeez. I wish I kept fire punch. <laughs> I have fire thing on Moto Moto, but that's just not gonna be Jack. Um. Damn. I really want to keep you alive, though that's the problem. This is going to be neutral, I think, but I have to switch. I have to switch. I have to switch. I have to switch. It's a neutral, yeah. High jump kick. Please miss. Please miss. No. No way. Does Serena resist? She does resist water. Okay. That's fine. Uh, can't fish. I feel like fish this is just gonna be a waste. We're gonna outspeed this thing though. It's base 170 though. No. Uh, I don't want to lock myself in the outrage yet. I don't. God. Uh, I should have fished this ready. I should have fished this ready. Drop kick. Oh, we survived, but our attack fell. Of course, of course, of course. Damn it, man. I'm gonna have to sack it off. There's no way Draco Rich is gonna be fine. I mean, whatever comes in, if he switches, is not gonna like this. It's gonna be Walrein, isn't it? No, wait, what is that? Oh, it's the Buzzwool. I forgot that was his nickname. Okay, well, it's gonna take a fat fish's rent here. Damn, that thing is stupid bulky. But well, we we should be able to get off one more. Or we could get off a of psychic things. Which one would do more damage? I mean, base 170 stab fish's rend. Or a super effective non-stab psychic thing. Fish's rend, right? Fish's rend. We should not speed it, to be honest. Yeah. So we're gonna put it in a position to just get one shot in. Oh no, Fell Stinger. That's smart. He gets the beast boost and raised attack. Oh, that's not good. Is that plus three or plus two? I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. The only way I survive this is if Corviknight outspeeds. Other than that, I'm getting swept. I'm getting swept. There's, there's no way. I'm getting, I'm getting swept. I think I have to Dynamax right here. Or Gigantamax. There's no way. I'm getting swept 110%. I have to Dynamax right here. I have to. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to get rid of this thing. 110% I have to get rid of this thing. We're gonna have to do it. I have to get rid of this thing. I have to. He's gonna do it too. Okay. Question is, do we outspeed it? That's the big question right now. That is the big question right now. I did not think about Fell Stinger. That's smart. That's smart. That's very smart. I did not think about Fell Stinger. We have to outspeed it right here. Corviknight's bulky, so it can take a physical move, but... Uh, drastically, it's plus three, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. Fell Stinger's like base 20. That's why it raises your attack so much. He outsped me. Actually, no. I'm dumb. He he Dynamax first, so he, he's going to outspeed me. I believe, I believe that's how it works. I believe that's how it works. Please. 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 You just need to take one hit, Arthur. He's gonna he's plus five. There's no way, dude. He survived! Yes, Arthur! Yes! 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 We have a chance, alright? It's still not a great chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Alright, we have a chance here. Yes, Arthur! Yes, Arthur! That's huge. That's huge. We're still Dynamax as well. He's probably going to come in and protect. Uh, we're still G-Max, rather. Yes, Arthur. Yes. 
Yes, Arthur. Bessie, okay. Okay, cool. So we can get off a max steel spike on this thing. Um, let's see what it's running. That's what I'm curious about. He's got to assume I have a, a steel type, right? He has to. Max steel spike comes in. It's neutral because water resists, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't water resist? Am I dumb? Am I dumb? Does water resist it? Water does resist it. Okay, so it is neutral. That's fine. But we lose our one counter to this thing. What we can do is Firecracker can come in and Volt Switch. And we get off a free hit. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to be a little bit annoying with Rotom. We're just going to Volt Switch out. There's no point Thunder Waving because I feel like everyone on my team should outspeed it. Everyone on my team should outspeed it. Yeah, okay. He would do it. That's fine. Goomba, which is Amoongus. Of course, I should have overheated. No! No! It sucks that we lost Carbonite because that's huge. <laughs> Bloody huge. Alright. Well, we're going to bring you out. We're going to Ice Shard. Now, I'm Swan making his first appearance of the season. At this point, we're only missing Swampert, by the way. Swampert's the last Pokemon we need to bring. We're going to outspeed it. It's probably going to go off Spore or something stupid. I already know it. Can you get off a lot of damage here, please? Oh, jeez. That did nothing. That did nothing, dude. He has a Grass-type move, so he's probably going to use it. Okay, so we're guaranteed to stay asleep this turn. Did I bring in Jill and Taunt? No, there's no point. There's no point at, th at this point. I mean, this was just saying. I mean, I think I think that's GG's. I took too much damage with Moto Moto. I took too much damage with Corviknight. I should have done better to keep him alive. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I should have done so much better to keep them alive. That's my fault. Absolutely should have done better to keep him alive. Come on, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Nope. Yep. GG's. That's it. GG's. GG's. I should have done better to keep them alive. I don't think we necessarily had any misplays. This was just his team's his team very much countered mine in terms of typing and stuff. I mean I could try fire fanging this thing. Or overheating. Uh, at this point, may as well try and get as many kills as possible. Try to get as many kills as possible. May as well. I mean, if I protect, he's gonna spore again. So, he. Oh, that's my luck, dude. That's my luck. That is my luck. Hey, yeah, we haven't had the best luck either. Like Moto Moto getting hit with the confusion. That was rough. We probably, maybe, could have killed Cramorant faster. That was rough. Oh, uh, let's bring out Moto Moto and just Fire Fang. That's that's garbage, dude. That sucks. I feel like Moto Moto might, big might be able to take one Giga Drain, but won't really be able to do too much. We'll just Fire Fang. Yep. Burn. Nope. Oh, that was a that was a crit. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Moto Moto couldn't take one. <laughs> Not surprised. Not surprised. Yeah, this Amoongus is good. This Amoongus is really good. Ah, uh, jeez. That's all right. Honestly, I wasn't. I didn't have too high hopes for this match because, like I said, his team was pretty pretty well well matched against mine. Like, there's a lot of counters from his team. For mine so i i was not surprised that's uh not surprised that he's able to walk away with this one um crunch it's probably gonna oh no wow he must be really built in like special attack and stuff we lowered his defense so maybe if we can oh i should have taunted i didn't think he'd be like that i didn't think he would do that that's 
You should have just giga drained. You should have just giga drained. You're just delaying the inevitable. You're just delaying the inevitable. I don't appreciate that. You should have just giga drained. No, 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 no. That's some, that's some bad sportsmanship. You should have just giga drained in the first place. Nah, I get it. I should have taunted. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just bad sportsmanship right there. Nah, it's really not. Oh, we woke up! Kill it! We got the defense drop. Uh, you've... Actually, I'll take paralysis. I'll take paralysis. I'll take the paralysis. Rain dance. That's fine. Just please don't get paralyzed on this next turn. Because I would love a 6-3 scoreline. It's so much better than 6-2. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a lot better than 6-2. <laughs> I don't think it could drink kills, but it's gonna do a lot more now. Ah, uh, it did about 30 more. Less than I would have expected, to be honest. Does a crunch a crunch kills from this range? A crunch kills from this range. Yay! 6-3, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3. Yeah, I'm not I like I said, I'm not gonna lie, I had I didn't really have high hopes for this match. I really didn't. Um even next week against Jex Krog, you know, that's that's gonna be extremely tough as well. I, I have low low expectations. We're gonna get drop kicked or whatever right here. I jump kick. Miss. Miss. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. Isn't high jump kick like base 75 or something? GG's. G freaking G's. G freaking G's. Uh, I am I just for my peace of mind. <laughs> I just wanna see. Hi, jump kick. Wasn't it spelled HI before? I don't know. I'm just stupid. Oh, it's base 90. Yes, I'd like his, his lead card. GG's. GG's ace. GG's. That was a good match. That was a good match. Oh, I don't I, I don't think we necessarily misplayed right there. I think I kind of I think we more mishandled. I think we mishandled more. <laughs> he said, bro, your bird is tanky. <laughs> he was not expecting it to survive. Bro, plus, what was it? What was it? it had to have been a plus four buzzle, right? I think drastically, I think drastically means plus four. Plus four buzzle didn't stand a chance, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That was okay. I if, if there's anything I could take away from this match, if there's anything I could take away from this match, it's that Corviknights took a plus four max knuckle, dude. I love it. That was awesome. Um, if not, Buzzwell would have definitely swept us. Buzzwell would have definitely swept us uh, easily. I don't think anyone else would have been able to kill him quick enough. Um, easily would have swept him. Um, I am. Uh, uh, dude, dude, sorry, he's asking me a question. I should be out trying. I should wait until, uh, uh, give me one second. But yeah, I mean, um, I could have handled, I could have handled the, I, I mishandled Corviknight and Hippowdon. Getting confused with Hippowdon sucked because maybe, I don't know if he would have, but it, it would have been damn near close killing the Cramorant. With a, it's a quad affected Thunder Fang, so there's a very good chance we, we probably would have killed it. Um, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's gonna be, it's tough. It's tough, honestly. I'm, I, I don't know. I feel like we didn't misplay that one. We just, like I said, our team was just not as well matched uh, against his. So definitely, we'll do better next week. Uh, I will try. We got Jack, which is a very, it's going to be a very, very tough game. I mean, a very tough game. Looking at his team, man, it's going to be a really tough game. Um, but I feel like we did a little bit better in this one. Um, in terms of not making as many misplays, I feel like last week we had a couple bad misplays that cost us. Because um, genuinely, I still think that match could have been a 1-0. Like, it genuinely could have only had one kill in it, which would have been amazing. But, um... I yeah I I think we could have done a little bit better today but you know I'm not disappointed I'm not mad or anything like that I'm actually okay with it um, the wall rain I'm kind of sad that I couldn't do too much against it um, but it's all right it's all right I'm just 
I'm just glad we got three kills because I genuinely I, I running like practice matches and stuff like I genuinely didn't think that we would even do that well. Um, I felt like honestly we were gonna get destroyed by the buzzwall immediately and and the walrin i feel like like those two were gonna come through the amoongus though man gg to that amoongus man <laughs> mvp i think maybe it's, it's definitely gonna be a candidate so gg to that amoongus never doubt i never doubted it not saying i, I did doubt it but i definitely should have taunted with my uh with my tyranitar that was, that was some bad sportsmanship at the end <laughs> you should have just giga drink <laughs> please just put me out of my misery nah it wasn't gonna kill because of the sandstorm but <laughs> um but yeah, big GGs. Check out Forsaken Ace down below in the description. Of course, his links are down there. His YouTube channel is down there. Alongside all the other coaches, of course, be sure to check all them out. All, uh, the, 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 check all of them out as well. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated, you guys. Please go show support and love their way. Um, and towards the Elite Battle League. Um, what else? What else? Oh, uh, outro. Uh, we're done. Uh, next week, we have the New Brunswick 90s. I'm 99.9% sure. .9 Yes, we have the new Brunswick Nine Tails. We'll be facing Jack, so that match is going to be about 50 minutes long. Um, so we'll be back next week to try and rebound again. Um, my goal is to not lose every single game because that's what it's kind of looking like. We'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. I, I swear, we'll bounce back at some point. Maybe we'll see. Um, but I'll catch you guys in uh, the next match. Next Saturday is when it's going to be up. The weekly roundup will be up on Monday, so be sure to check that out as well. Um, and yeah, so we'll see you guys soon. Be sure to check out all the socials in the description, Twitter and Instagram, we're both at HermitLonely underscore. Uh, the playlist link for all the EBL matches and the weekly roundups will be down below alongside the playlist link for our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke run, which I'm about to record after this. Um, and of course, be sure to share socials with your friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know Lonely Hermit Tour We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!